Namaste, Prasanna. Very happy to be here with you. Uh, good evening and uh, good morning uh, to those that are on this side of the world. I'm in Canada, 10.30 in the morning and uh, good evening to you. Uh, do you have any questions or did you want me to simply begin with the poem? I'll start by reading, yes. Okay, so my first poem is called The Body of Light. And uh, here we go. Dearest, I'll seek the secret to liberation <laughs> as soon as this bed lets go of me. In a dream, I waited in line for communion at Christmas time. When I reached the beaming priest, he held no white wafer and he never said, the body of Christ. Instead, he gestured broadly around us and firmly, warmly whispered, the body of light. This is the body of light. The longest journey begins at the base of the spine and ends at the crown of the head, seventh heaven, God intoxication. Our words lose their bodies in this ocean of breath. Sun and moon share one soul between them, and you and I are cut from the same cloth. The coffee you often let sit in your cup, which you probably left for the angels, I privately pour into my form to mesh with your silky spirit. Dear one, you alone know I am hungry for nothingness. How my inner voice chants, let go of everything, let go of everything. Heavy worries, work, mask. You sent me a twilight reminder, writing, let go everything. I love how you left out the of. Let go everything. Nothing holds us at all. Neither breath, nor false concepts, nor webs of eloquent words. Thank you. I'm going to share my screen now and read a slightly longer poem that's very dear to me. It's called uh, The Song of Solitude Community. And this one is not yet uh, published. So I have poems that are published right now in uh, Hindi and Bengali uh, and in English and other uh, journals in India. And let me go and see. Is this the Song of Solitude community? One light and dark sky hovers everywhere. The halo holy places and decrepit alike under crown jewel constellations scattered over the community of humanity, magnanimous kindness of quiet stars for all global locals connected by a web. Anonymous earth dwellers, monks, merchants, medics, married lovers who make time to dovetail their own fingers in solitary prayer that paints the air red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. I fell in love with the silence of the soul that brings warm human intuition and reason to their knees in a never doomed, domed temple of midnight Paris, Prague, Istanbul, Mumbai, Rio, Boston, Montreal, and all cities, towns, villages on the omnipresent ground. Stage of the spoken world, changing face of earth. One light and dark sky hovers everywhere and pierces countless hearts of artists, open-minded midnight makers of scriptures, sculptures, pictures, Symphonies that symbolize all human longing, feeling, seeking, wanting, prophesying the coming of greater inspirations still. 
in the company of saints and abundant, undaunted light. The well that gives to all is never empty, but forever replenished and replete with complete knowledge that slakes our thirst for light. We are waves of one unbounded sea of spirit electricity. I whispered into the well of the heart, met by minor echoes, resonance of a temporary rarity, contemporary sincerity, passionate search for the blue pearl in the private sky of the mind, sacred jewel, summit of the spirit, culmination of all meditation that holds the whole cosmos illumined in its contemplation, being conscious bliss. I sang into the listening air of midnight melodic prayers and murmurs of discouragement that disappeared in a sequence of seconds, but were stored in the sacred record of everything ever said, sung, murmured, whispered, or simply held in the mind for one minute minute. I wanted to howl, but softly sang raw, off-key questions that dissolved in sunlight, breakfast chants and meditation, followed by phone calls to pharmacies and family, plus electronic threads with prospective employers, while walled and windowed into snowstorm northern Maine morning, happily writing for nothing, obsessed with nothingness, and from time to time, looking for a living. Under the crested waves of frigid winds which populate the sky with pale crystals, I fell in love with the silence of the soul, though all night I'd intoned the echoed wisdom of weather from a radio speaker that repeated what I'd said into a lonely microphone tethered to towers that scattered my words to half a million satellite dish ears, tuned in to practical prophecies for the closest tenants of the planet. Hello, fellow citizens of the world. There is poetry opening everywhere, myriad eyelids of panoramic vision that begins with the bandwidth of our own outlook. As always, the voice appears in dreams and spills spirit secrets that do not dissolve in daylight. Love helps all the work get done. It's virtual heaven with a sudden survive. God is the only thing that's real and holds the whole dream. Just a jolt would change everything. A little bit of lightning is all you need. Light is might. He threw a window at the sun. Our global open secret God in multicolored, many splendored solitude wears this world to clothe naked light. In nature, weather, time, sky, and mind, hard to see what is behind our eyes. There is light behind the mind whose only words forever are, I am, I am, I am. I'll move on to some lines from dreams that are, uh, I have uh, uh, over 200 pages of these that are actual lines from dreams. And uh, some of them are in the Bombay Review and others are in uh, magazines in Europe. Consciousness exists at the interface between games and fumes. Consciousness is the voice of the beyond and what is here. Consciousness is cool. Is that a joke? A joke from the home office. <laughs> Consciousness is what burns in all that lives, in all that is. Consciousness is what wants to murmur all along 
sound in every song. Eiffel Town needs you right now. What's left here are our different views. This is how, now I forgot how I do it. This is how you make stars. The best constellations are dreamt. I recommend getting to know the souvenir. They're not going to alert you. This is the start. From the dawn of time to now, and what is going to be, you are connected together. Inspire them all with strong words and sobriety. I booked a photo shoot, it's inside me. This is wholeness and I am being absorbed by it. You go to work here, <laughs> you know what's supposed to happen. Like my mother, I drew the wrong and right number. Being honest with people is not what we're taught. So many colors here today. Just open your eyes to distance. The spaces between have to be long because I'm living through them. Her overall break time was one minute and 50 seconds. She just kept going. She kept on running the whole way through. She saw nothing but ribbon from button to button. Ah, uh, here is holding now. <laughs> Who's holding who? And she did it. She did it herself. She launched it from a bureaucracy. She's read these two or three books I've started and charted till I found myself at the bottom. I'll cut my fingers into another pact and give it to you, Ava. I enjoined the mystery with the music. Then I made it sing. She gets to watch the race and not the pain. The vulnerability appears after the act. You have to write it down on something. Are you reading? If you want, we can unveil some channels for everybody. Our fathers followed the rules, right? We can't hide from the light. We're all visibilities too. Roll the dice of sun and moon, a quick gambling of effects. <laughs> and we're back. I just wanted to appear on the screen for a moment before I read anything else of the serious Sirwa. I'm David Leo Sirwa, and I'm published in 24 countries in 12 languages so far. And uh, my favorite to see is the Hindi and Bengali. Uh, so I'm going to recite a short poem that is from my little book of poems to pigeons and plants, a little book called Humble Doves that's on Amazon. And here's the title poem, Humble Doves. I saw children chasing pigeons at a playground in Mormatka. As I walked by, I smiled and disapproved. They didn't notice me or my hair in disrepair, but I stared in mute contemplation of their scary, fearless, unrelenting effort to scare these multicolored humble doves who come from everywhere. <laughs> uh, we're going to go into the land of word once again and see what we find. 
All right, St. Yaneshwar Maharaj in the background, as always in my life. So yeah, those were 33 of the words heard or seen in dreams. And this poem was translated into Bengali and appeared in Indian periodicals. Illusion is the hardest thing. I see and hear Avenue de Versailles release its voice from words that long had held it down, aimless flurries of passers-by. Sunset stretches overhead and builds a city of stone on green that seems to fill the absent sky with fiery lights in brilliant grids. We swim in rhythm with sea of breath, these breezes whose chord progression never resolves. Time's fingers grip a spinning globe and draw the soul slowly over magnetic meridians at dusk, strum the world's imaginary strings. Within we chant a hidden word in meditation often heard. The river rolls backward in my eyes, mirrored spheres, flows over inner rocks and returns a wounded arrow. Our sharp half moon has split the dust and cut the cords to cold denial of beauty's paint on canvas minds. Twilight's windows begin to speak in sapphire song and one long sigh. Seagulls wheel over long waters, crying out their timeless tale. Midway in the journey of our life, we found the ocean lost to us. We burned for a bond with water and wandered with every feather to seek and find. Below Pomerabo's faint green rails, in cobalt light, white birds unwind. They work to learn letters and words from overvalued thoughts we guard. With unspoken sparks, we make our world. A troubled singer begs the mirror to glitter in falling shards just to break the hardest layer. My other mother murmurs, Maya is the hardest thing. Please push the mirror and discover it's a window to within. At the deep heart's core, leave your door wide open. Let kind fire spread. Merci. And uh, I believe I have time for this one. Stage of the spoken world. This is the year of the key. This is the year of the coin. This is the year of the word and the digits of the code. This year is the new alone. I take a walk in twilight quiet, Paul Valéry's sapphire habit to break from day's webs of words. At times I flow with time or stride forward while my mind stares behind. Memory wears a necklace of knives, each one meant for a wound of mine. In a disappearing dream, I hear, I recommend getting to know the souvenir. But the persistence of time perpetually frees me from history, moves me into dusky mystery. Valerie's question echoes, will you sing when you're reduced to vapor? I want to chant at all the changes of our day, 
dawn, noon, dusk. Midnight walks toward me. She never changes pace. The sorrows of my changing face. Who called to me from all mists of earth? Echo of my first song of mirth. Why pick up the rusted chain again of my time-worn story, drag it across this doorstep, my shadow stains? Keep the vigil of open vision, circle a spacious time, timeless space. Outdoors, dusk has turned to dark, its tendency toward a round trip. The best way to end my nightmares is to face them. The play I appear in forever starts over, refrain of ocean waves, sunlight sculpts with fire. The now is forever a newborn I've never before seen. I touch it with tender uncertainty, bless this welcome present. Another flash dream firmly murmurs, they're not going to alert you. <laughs> this is the start. Time is the pulse of consciousness. Now, onto the stage of the spoken world. I can only sing on this side of the curtain. All right, I will come back to reality. Hello, Prasanna. Maybe we have uh, five more minutes, I believe. We started a little late. Okay, yes, I will read one more thing, one more of my uh, attempts at uh, sacredness. Sharing my screen, St. Yaneshwar again. All right, well, let's see what we have here after this one. We've got basic music. <laughs> music is native and natural to me. It's brave and bold, march beat, rules my body born for dance. Big bass drum I hold in my closed closet chest. Song of the soul in motion, sculpting each second with sound, which times the steps of our living improv dance. Breathing is basic music, to repeat the moment's mantra on living lotus seed beads, better than a bracelet or book of unheard hymns. The voice appears in whispers at the deep heart's core to flood my quietude with fluid music, fluent movement. Love stole my prayer beads and gave me poetry and song, sang Rumi with his heart in flames that kindle creativity. I drop my notebook and let the wind take its already aged pages when sudden bliss begins to fill this human flute with a song of longing, resolve to be, to be, to be. <laughs> I will end right there. Uh... Beauty. <laughs> uh, thanks everybody for listening. Wow. <laughs> Prasanaji, thanks for having me here. Uh, always appreciate it and always a pleasure to uh, be in your company. Satsang. <laughs>